Uh, since I already have another quilt on my long arm, I can't show you a full video of my process for making a weighted blanket. Uh, it appears that most of the questions I have been getting have had to do with my comment about an upside down U and upside down T. Uh, this hopefully will help clarify all of that. <laughs> I began to write it all out and <laughs> decided it would just be faster to show you. So what you see here in front of you is uh, the weighted blanket I made for our grandson. Um, this is where I learned my process. First thing you're gonna do, imagine the, your pocket in thirds like so. Then you're gonna start the left third inside, stitch out to the left, stitch up, stitch across, and then down, and go left, go right. And that's up to you. You can go right, go left, it doesn't matter. Back up, across, and down, and again left, and then right. You're gonna do that from the beginning of your row all the way to the end, again. This is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The important part to remember here is to give yourself enough room in the middle, right here, to be able to fill each pocket with the necessary weight that you're looking for. Um, then when you're done filling each pocket, you're going to stitch your second row while you're closing your first row. And you can start from the left, you can start from the right, it doesn't matter. Again, you're going to start your third all the way to the top, go across. Now I stitch this pocket hole three times and then next down the, to the next pocket and across and up. Again, three times across that hole, that gives it good reinforcement and down. And you'll find that most of the stitching is gonna come out about two or three lines per pocket, which gives you nice, nice durability to your, to your weighted blanket. Okay, I hope this helps. Um, in the future, I'm get another weighted blanket put on the machine and then I will do a whole video showing everything. Thanks for watching. Bye.